Welcome to At the Public Library, the video source for news and information about the San Francisco Public Library system. This month's show features a complete listing of all the new open hour schedules at the main and neighborhood branch libraries, a look at three exciting exhibits now on display at the main library, an update on the new main library construction, and listings of upcoming programs and events for children, teens, and adults at the Public Library. Thanks to voter support, San Francisco's public libraries have more books and are open more hours. Stay tuned throughout the show for listings of the new days and hours at your neighborhood libraries. Serving the Outer Richmond, the Anza Branch, located at 550 37th Avenue, is now open Mondays from 12 noon to 6 p.m., Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Wednesdays, 1 to 9 p.m., Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 12 noon to 6 p.m., Sundays closed. Atop Bernal Hill, the Bernal Heights Branch Library on 500 Cortland Avenue was the first branch to extend open hours. Here are the Bernal Branch new hours. Mondays, closed. Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wednesdays, 1 to 9 p.m. Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays, 1 to 6 p.m. And Sundays, closed. Serving the Castro and Upper Market neighborhoods, the Eureka Valley Harvey Milk Memorial Branch Library at 3555 16th Street near Market Street is open on Mondays from 12 noon to 6 p.m. Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wednesdays, 1 to 9 p.m. Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Fridays, 1 to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 12 noon to 6 p.m. and Sundays closed. Located in the Outer Mission, the Excelsior Branch Library at 4400 Mission Street is now open Mondays from 1 to 9 p.m., Tuesdays 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Wednesdays 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sundays 1 to 5 p.m. The San Francisco Public Library's Services for the Deaf and Hearing Impaired is located on the second floor of the main library, Civic Center. Staffed with personnel fluent in American Sign Language, the Services for the Deaf and Hearing Impaired contain numerous resources for and about the deaf and hearing impaired. The library's deaf services may be reached via TTD at phone number 557-4433 or voice phone at 557-4434. Hours of operation are Mondays, 12 noon to 5 p.m., Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 12 noon to 8 p.m., and Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 12 noon to 5 p.m. A retrospective exhibition of Poltroon Press entitled Trance and Recalcitrance, The Private Voice in the Public Realm, is running through May 31st in the South Hall, third floor of the main library. The exhibit documents the individual and collective work of Poltroon's founders, Francis Butler and Alastair Johnston, two of the Bay Area's leading innovators in artists' books who are also teachers, lecturers, and widely published writers on topics as far-ranging as gardening, world music, letter forms, popular culture, and, of course, aspects of the book. It takes both suspension of time-based culture, dreaming or trance, and resistance to prestige-based marketing strategies, recalcitrance, in order to avoid communication cliches, said Butler, explaining the exhibit's title. Butler and Johnston established Poltroon Press in 1975 with the intention to print and publish original works of literature, poetry, short stories, experimental writing, as well as books on graphic arts, typography, bibliography, 
design history, and subjects difficult to classify. That's a Poltroon Press retrospective at the Main Library through May 31st. Looking for a great deal on books? Then drop by the Book Bay Bookstore in Fort Mason. Operated by the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library, the Book Bay Bookstore offers great prices on used books, records, and tapes. There's something for everybody at the Book Bay, and all proceeds of the Book Bay benefit the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library. The Book Bay Bookstore is located in the Fort Mason Complex, Building C, on the first floor. The store is open Wednesdays and Fridays from 11 to 5, Thursdays 11 to 8, and Saturdays and Sundays again from 11 to 5. The Book Bay also welcomes donations of books. If you have books you'd like to donate, call the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library at 557-4257 for more information. So, now you know, that's Bargain Books at the Book Bay Bookstore, Fort Mason, Building C. Library patrons at several of the branches are now meeting to discuss favorite works of literature. Titles change regularly. Here's the schedule for the month of May. On Wednesday, May 3rd, the Sunset Branch Group meets at 7 p.m. to discuss the novels of Barbara Pym, acclaimed in 1977 as the most underrated writer of the century. Her writing, including Excellent Women, Quartet in Autumn, and Jane and Prudence, are often compared to the work of Jane Austen. The Noe Valley Sally Brunn Branch meets on Wednesday, May 24th at 7.30 p.m. to discuss A Bend in the River by V.S. Naipaul, sometimes called the most convincing vision we have yet been given of what life is like in Africa today. Finally, Frankenstein, the classic Gothic horror story by Mary Shelley is this month's choice for the Bernal Heights Discussion Group meeting on Thursday, May 25th at 4 p.m. In other literary news, the Sunset Branch Library, located at 1305 18th Avenue, is presenting dramatic readings of Tales from Great Literature by Al Guido, featuring the works of W. Somerset Maugham. That's on Monday, May 22nd at 7 p.m. Here are more of the extended branch hours, beginning with the Glen Park Branch Library, located just two blocks from the Glen Park BART station at 653 Chenery Street. Monday, closed. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday, 12 noon to 8 p.m. Thursday, 1 to 7 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 1 to 6 p.m. And Sunday, closed. Herb Kane's favorite branch library, the Golden Gate Valley Branch, is located at 1801 Green Street with these hours. Monday, closed. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday, 12 noon to 8 p.m. Thursday, 1 to 7 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 1 to 6 p.m. Sunday, closed. Just a half block off Ocean Avenue at 387 Ashton Avenue, here are the hours for the Ingleside branch. Monday, closed. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday, 12 noon to 8 p.m. Thursday and Friday, 1 to 6 p.m. Saturday, 12 noon to 6 p.m. And Sunday, closed. The Marina Branch Library, located at 1890 Chestnut Street, is open Monday and Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesday and Thursday, 1 to 9 p.m., Friday, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sunday, 1 to 5 p.m. And now, here's some news and notes of interest about the San Francisco Public Library System for May 1995. The annual Noe Valley History Day celebration will take place on Sunday, May 7th from 1 to 5 p.m. at the Noe Valley Sally Brunn Memorial Branch Library. A celebration of Noe Valley in the 60s is the theme of this year's program 
which features an exhibit from the Noe Valley Archives and performances by musician Bruce Sherman and the young performers group The Singing Rainbows. Noe Valley History Day at the Noe Valley Branch Library has become a neighborhood tradition. This fun community event is being co-sponsored by the Friends of the Library and the East West of Castro and Friends of Noe Valley neighborhood groups. The Noe Valley Sally Brun Memorial Branch Library is located at 451 Jersey Street between Castro and Sanchez. Friends for Life volunteers bring the riches of the San Francisco Public Library to people who can no longer visit the library themselves. As key participants in this new outreach program, Friends for Life volunteers provide a link between the San Francisco Public Library and people who are homebound due to AIDS or HIV disease. I have the privilege of serving as project coordinator of Friends for Life, which means that I'm responsible for the general aspects of the program, including recruiting and training volunteers, recruiting clients, matching volunteers with clients, and also selecting books because we have the opportunity to build a collection that's for the use of Friends for Life volunteers and clients. Friends for Life got started a couple of years ago when there was some energy on the part of a, a member of the Friends of the Library for there to be such a program to serve the needs of people homebound with illness. And at that time, there was a particular interest in focusing on serving the needs of people with AIDS who were homebound. And uh, the, out of the Chief of Branches office, a grant was written to the State Library, and some federal funds were awarded last year to, in fact, begin this program. The training in, of, of Friends for Life volunteers involves a commitment to three sessions. And the first session is generally a library orientation where we introduce people to the San Francisco Public Library system and to the main library in particular because that is where most people who are volunteering will be working out of and where most of the resources of the system are held. We also want volunteers to know how to use the online catalog, which a lot of people are not familiar with. That's one session. The next session is all about AIDS and related diseases, emergency procedures, and taking care of the volunteer and also of the client um, from a medical point of view. And then the third session focuses on the client and volunteer relationship, which is a very delicate one. We are asking volunteers to go into the home of someone who's quite ill and yet we are not asking them to become a caretaker. So there are some boundary issues that volunteers have to be comfortable with. Friends for Life is always interested in hearing from people who are interested in volunteering. The library's Office of Volunteer Services is always happy to take calls from potential volunteers. Paul Signorelli is the person to contact and his phone number is 557-4280. Friends for Life clients have to meet several criteria. One is that they have to be a San Francisco resident. They have to be homebound for the purposes of this program, which means that they generally don't go out for social reasons, but more for medical reasons. They need to be um, under the supervision of a case manager, and they have to have a diagnosis of AIDS or HIV. And a person who wants to receive service can contact us in one of two ways either directly or by getting their case manager to contact us and introduce us over the telephone to the client. And the phone number to contact Friends for Life is 557-4352. Friends for Life enjoys some real nice relationships with the aid service community as well. This is an outreach project that is very much involved in what else is going on in San Francisco, serving people with AIDS and HIV. And right from the start, the grant was written so that there would be partnerships involved. And that, in fact, is what has happened as the project has grown. We've been in touch with aid service organizations like Open Hand and Shanti and the AIDS Foundation, but also with uh, Gay Asian Pacific Alliance Community HIV Project and Rafiki Services and Bayview Hunters Point AIDS Services because we're very, very much committed to supplementing the services that are available in the city rather than creating something new in a vacuum. 
we're also interested at Friends for Life in having good relationships with these organizations so that our clients can be notified about the existence of Friends for Life by these programs, many of which in fact do provide extensive services and can then be and then can then be introduced to Friends for Life by people at the AIDS Foundation and Shanti and similar organizations. Friends for Life is probably a unique program. When we started, we tried to find other libraries that are providing this service, and the most we came up with was a slew of inquiries from other libraries who were interested in providing this service. But as far as we can tell, this is indeed unique. There are many systems that provide services to homebound elders or people who are considered shut-ins. But right now, this is the only program that has a mandate to provide service to people in a certain illness category. And in time, Friends for Life is designed to expand so that we can serve other people with debilitating illness in addition to people with AIDS and HIV. For more information about Friends for Life, call 557-4352. And to find out how to become a Friends for Life volunteer, phone 557-4280. The San Francisco Public Library Commission meets the first Tuesday of every month at 5.30 p.m. This month, the commission will meet on Tuesday, May 2nd, in the Lurie Room of the Main Library. On Tuesday, June 6th, the Library Commission will hold their regular meeting at the Marina Branch Library, located at 1890 Chestnut Street. The Library Commission meeting at the Marina Branch will start at 6.30 p.m one hour later than the usual starting time. Committee meetings of the Library Commission are held in the Lurie Room of the Main Library. The Finance Committee meets the third Tuesday of the month at 4 p.m. The Building and Facilities Committee meets on the third Thursday of the month at 3 p.m. And the Planning Committee meets the third Thursday at 4 p.m. All San Francisco Public Library Commission meetings are open to the public. For more information, phone 557-4233. And finally, this reminder, all of San Francisco's public libraries will be closed on Monday, May 29th, in observance of Memorial Day. Hi, I'm Susan Harlow, middle school outreach librarian, and I'm here reading a book on this beautiful spring day in front of the Western Edition Library. We have a lot of programs planned for middle schoolers this spring, and the very first one will be a part of our Job Clinic series. It will be held here at the Western Edition Library on Wednesday, May 3rd at 4 p.m. The second clinic will be at the Bernal Heights Library on Wednesday, May 10th at 4 p.m. The next at the Bayview Library, Thursday, May 11th at 4 p.m. Then the Chinatown Library, Saturday, May 13th at 2.30 p.m. The Main Library Lurie Room, Monday, May 15th at 4 p.m. The West Portal Library, Wednesday, May 17th at 3.30 p.m. And finally, at the Anza Library, Thursday, May 18th at 3.30 p.m. We also have some skin and makeup care clinics for middle schoolers. The very first one will be held on Friday, May 5th at the Mission Branch at 3.30 p.m. The second will be Thursday, May 11th at the Excelsior Branch at 4 p.m. The third at the Parkside Branch, Friday, May 12th, 3.30 p.m. Then the Ocean View Branch, Saturday, May 20th at 1 p.m. And finally, the Richmond Branch, Wednesday, May 24th at 3.30 p.m. So come to the public library and celebrate spring. Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Pick up a book. You got a fantasy? Imagination can take you to where you want to be. Are you curious? How can you find out? Books, check them out. Books, check them out. Read about stars and cars, play electric guitars, or cops that work hard, patrolling the boulevard, the heavyweight champ, and his craziest bout. Books, check them out. Books. Check them out at your library. Stay tuned now for the San Francisco Public Library events calendar for children during the month of May.
Beginning with the Anza Branch Library, each Wednesday in May at 7.15 p.m., presenting a family story time for children ages three and under. Each Thursday, March 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th at 3 p.m., an after-school read-aloud program for children ages five and up. On Tuesdays, May 2nd, 23rd, and 30th at 10.30 a.m., a preschool story time for ages three to six. And on May 9th, a preschool film program for ages three to six at 10 a.m. and again at 11 a.m. Finally, on May 16th at 3.30 p.m., a special music program for children of all ages. Sing along with Ginger Nomura. That's all at the Anza Branch Library, located at 550 37th Avenue, near Anza. The Sunset Branch Library will also be presenting a preschool music program with Ginger Nomura on May 9th at 10.30 a.m. On Tuesdays, May 2nd, 23rd, and 30th at 10.30 a.m., the Sunset Branch presents a preschool story time for ages 2 to 5. On May 10th at 7 p.m., an evening video program for 6-year-olds and over. And on May 16th, preschool film programs for 3 to 5-year-olds at 10.30 and 11.15 a.m. and again at 1.30 p.m. That's all at the Sunset Branch Library at 1305 18th Avenue near Irving. Come to the Bernal Heights Branch for study night on May 2nd, 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th from 7 to 9 p.m. And every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m., the Bernal Branch has a family night program. Preschool story time for children ages two to five years old is on May 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th, all at 10.30 a.m. That's the Bernal Branch Library at 500 Cortland Avenue, near Andover. And on Thursdays in May, May 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th, the Park Branch Library will be having preschool story time for children ages two to five years old at 11 a.m. That's the Park Branch Library, located at 1833 Page Street, near Cole. On Tuesday, May 9th, the Marina Branch Library is having a preschool video program for children ages 3 to 5 at 10.30 a.m. They'll watch Changes, Changes, The Remarkable Riderless Runaway Tricycle, and Ira Sleeps Over. That's all at the Marina Branch Library at 1890 Chestnut Street, near Webster. The Richmond Branch is presenting a Mother's Day Crafts program for three to five-year-olds on May 9th at 11.30 a.m. Saturdays, May 6th, 13th, and 27th at 10.30 a.m., an infant toddler lap sit for six-month to three-year-olds. On Tuesdays, May 2nd, 9th, 23rd, and 30th, at 11 a.m. and again at 7 in the evening, a story time for children ages 3 to 5 years old. And on May 16th, a preschool film program at 10.15 and 11 a.m. and 7 in the evening, including In the Night Kitchen, Mole and the Chewing Gum, and The Three Little Pigs. That's all at the Richmond Branch Library at 351 9th Avenue. The main library is presenting a preschool film program for children ages 3 to 5 on May 17th at 10 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. and 2 p.m. and on May 18th at 10 and 10.45. Also on May 17th at 4 p.m. an after-school film program for ages 6 and over. Saturdays at the main at 10.30 a.m. a family story time interpreted in American Sign Language for children ages three to five years old. And on May 27th, Mystifying Magic with Dan Snyder at 2.30 p.m. That's all at the main library in the Civic Center at Larkin and McAllister Streets. Take that crap ba 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 back! Take it back. Please take it back. Come on now, take it back. Clean it up, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Please let me out of here. Take it back! Hey, Ugly. 
take it back before it take you back. Take back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m., the Main Library Children's Department hosts the Chess Club for children of all ages. International, Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese, and Korean chess are offered, as well as Go and Scrabble. That's the Chess Club in the Main Children's Department at the Main Library every Friday at 3 p.m. Come down to the Main Library Children's Department for Alien Tales Day on Monday, May 22nd. Kids and parents will be able to play with computers and see demonstrations in a free, day-long event presented by Broderbund Software to introduce children and parents to a new multimedia computer program called Alien Tales, an edutainment title that encourages children to read while reinforcing comprehension and analytical skills. From 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., 9 to 13-year-olds can drop by for some alien computer fun. Call 557-4277 for more information. Dial a Story is a telephone service offering poems, rhymes, riddles, songs, and stories for children. Presented by the Office of Children's Services of the San Francisco Public Library, Dial a Story is offered in three languages, English, Spanish, and Cantonese. For English stories, dial 626-6516. For Spanish stories, dial 552-0535. And for Cantonese stories, dial 552-0534. Now here's a sampling of some Dial a Story fun. Hello. Thank you for calling Dial a Story, presented by Children's Services, San Francisco Public Library. Today, I'm going to sing some songs. The first one is an American folk song called I've Been Working on the Railroad. If you know it, sing along. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Dinah, I'll blow your horn. Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Strumming on the old banjo, a singing fee five fiddly I O, fee five fiddly I O, fee five fiddly I O. Fiddly, I -o. Strumming on the old banjo. The next song is called Sitting in a High Chair. Remember when you used to sit in a high chair? This one was written by Hap Palmer and Martha Cheney. Sitting in a high chair, big chair, my chair. Sitting in a high chair, bang my spoon. Sitting in a high chair, big chair, my chair. Sitting in a high chair, feed me soon. Bring on a plate, bring on a cup. Papa gonna fill this baby up. Bring on bananas, bring on the bread. Mama gonna get this baby fed. Sitting in a high chair, big chair, my chair. Sitting in a high chair, bang my spoon. Sitting in a high chair, big chair, my chair. Sitting in a high chair, feed me soon. Bring on the carrots, bring on the peas. Mama come serve this baby, please. Bring on the pancakes stacked in a pile. Papa gonna make this baby smile. Sitting in a hot chair, big chair, my chair. Sitting in a hot chair, bang my spoon. Sitting in a hot chair, big chair, my chair. Sitting in a hot chair, feed me soon. Now hang up the phone, please. Bye. You're watching At the Public Library on cable channel 54, City Watch. 
You can see at the Public Library on Tuesdays at 3 p.m., Fridays at 8 p.m., and Saturdays at 2 p.m. Now back to more of At the Public Library. The main library offers a free orientation to the San Francisco Public Library System and the new online public access catalog every first Saturday of the month. The sessions run for an hour and provide a basic introduction to the library and its collections. Library orientations on the first Saturday of the month begin at 2 p.m. and take place in the Lurie Room of the main library. Times and schedules may change. Call 557 4400 for more information. Here are more of the new extended branch library hours, beginning with the Merced branch. Located across the street from Stonestown at 155 Winston Drive, the Merced branch hours are Monday, closed, Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Wednesday, 1 to 9 p.m., Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Friday, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sunday, closed. Located in the heart of the Mission at 3359 24th Street, the Mission Branch Library is open Mondays, 1 to 9, Tuesday and Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Friday, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sunday, 1 to 5 p.m. The Mission Children's Room hours are the same except for Mondays, 1 to 6, Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Wednesdays, 1 to 8 p.m. The Noe Valley Sally Brunn Memorial Branch Library, located at 451 Jersey Street, is closed on Mondays. Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wednesday, 1 to 9 p.m. Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday, 1 to 6 p.m. Saturday, 12 noon to 6 p.m. And Sunday, closed. The North Beach Library at 2000 Mason Street is open Mondays, 12 noon to 6 p.m. Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wednesday, 1 to 9 p.m., Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Friday, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturday, 12 noon to 6 p.m., and Sunday, closed. The main library San Francisco History Room is now providing access to San Francisco Sanborn maps. These are extremely detailed city maps showing specific aspects of each building in the city. This includes the footprint of the building and information about its size, shape, doors, windows, chimneys, roofs, its use, etc. Dwellings as well as businesses and factories are included. They also show the location of water mains, fire alarm boxes, and hydrants. Sanborn maps exist for every city in the United States with a population of 2,000 or more with the earliest dating back to 1866. They are large scale, 50 feet equal one inch, originally designed for the specialized needs of fire insurance companies, but now found useful by many government agencies, among others. When you subscribe to the Sanborn map service, you're provided with a set of maps accurate as of that year. Thereafter, every year or two, a Sanborn representative updates the map by pasting a correction paper over the page, block, or lot where the buildings or their uses have changed. When the subscription is dropped, the set remains in the subscriber's possession, accurate as of its latest updating. There are 11 volumes in the San Francisco set, with each volume measuring two by three feet. They are very heavy and bulky due to many years of paste-over updatings on most pages. The San Francisco History Room acquired two sets from City Hall, the Tax Assessors, corrected to 1986, and the Recorder's Office, corrected to 1972, and a set from the San Francisco Fire Department Headquarters, corrected to 1969. We also have five older sets on microfilm showing San Francisco in 1893, 
1900, 1905, 1915, and 1950, making ours the largest collection of San Francisco Sanborn maps anywhere. The 1986 set is currently in the San Francisco History Room public area, easily accessible by the public. The others are in our stacks. So, next time you're at the main library, check out the Sanborn Map Collection in the San Francisco History Room on the third floor of the main library. The history and culture of Poland is the subject of an exhibit now on display in the second floor rotunda of the main library. The exhibit, presented by the Polish Arts and Culture Foundation, features printed materials and artifacts that recount the history of Poland, beginning with the Piasts of the 10th century, progressing through the centuries, leading up to present-day Poland. Also included are materials documenting Polish contributions to music, film and theater, literature, religion, and science. A display of traditional costumes rounds out the exhibit that will continue through June 28th. Every year during the months of April and May, the Main Library Special Collections Department presents an exhibit featuring materials from the library's Schmolowitz collection of wit and humor. This year's exhibit, entitled Funny Girls, was coordinated by Special Collections Librarian Stan Carroll. Begun in 1947, the Schmolowitz collection of wit and humor includes books in over 35 languages and spans over 400 years and it's now one of the largest collections of wit and humor in the world. Uh, the Schmolowitz collection is one of our special collections. It was donated by Nat Schmolowitz in 1961. Uh, Nat Schmolowitz was a San Francisco lawyer, uh, practiced law in the 20s and 30s and 40s in San Francisco. He was best known as one of the attorneys who defended Fatty Arbuckle. Uh, in his uh, famous case, uh, the alleged crime that took place in the St. Francis Hotel. Well, he got Fatty Arbuckle off, and uh, that may have started his interest in comedy and humor, and he developed a collection of his own. Uh, he went around the world, collected books in any language. He had no restrictions. Uh, as long as it had to do with humor, or was humor, or an example of humor. In 1960, he decided to donate uh, his collection to the library. He had been a, one of the friends of the library, one of the original friends, uh, a big library supporter. And in 1961, he donated his collection, beginning with a thousand books. Uh, through the next few years, he donated the rest of his collection, uh, which ultimately was 17,000 books. It's 30,000 now. Uh, in addition, uh, Nat had a sister who was also very fond of him and very fond of the collection. She also left an endowment, so actually there are two endowments from the Schmolowitz family which support this collection. Uh, it is a, an ideal collection in that sense. Uh, no matter how much the library's budget is cut, we still have the money that is dedicated to support it, so it continues to be current and complete, and uh, we, we can buy and, and fulfill Nat's wishes, because this is what he wanted. And it's being here in the Special Collections Department guarantees that. It will always be here, and we maintain the books uh, in, in their original condition so that uh, they, they will always be here. They're not, uh, they don't check out, but people are certainly welcome to come in anytime and look at them. We have Mad Magazine up here. Um, there, we have Harvard Lampoon. We have some Humor Digests. We have the Journal of Irreproducible Results, which is a parody of academic research journals, which is very funny. Uh, there are foreign language periodicals. In addition to what I was mentioning, we have uh, a French periodical, uh, a Swiss one, Navelspalter. The, the Russian... Uh, humor magazine Crocodile 
went out of publication for a while and then came back in, and we have that still. It's still coming now regularly. We get a, a, the British one, Private Eye, which is very risque and people love it. Uh, it, uh, it. I don't know anywhere else around here where you can find Private Eye. They may have it over in Berkeley, but I, I'm pretty sure nowhere else in the city. We have people who, who come here just every every week to uh, to read that and the uh, the tabloid we get from Paris. Every year in honor of the endowment and according, in accordance with Nat's wishes, we do an exhibit from the collection. Uh, April actually is humor month. I don't know who designated it that, but someone did and we've always observed it. So in April, we install an exhibit of books from the humor collection. This year's humor exhibit, entitled Funny Girls, features material by women humorists, authors, and cartoonists through the ages. The exhibit can be viewed in Phelan Hall on the third floor of the main library now through May 31st. The Schmolowitz collection of wit and humor can be accessed through the special collections department also located on the third floor of the main library. Want to learn how to read? Want to help someone else learn to read? Contact Project Read of the San Francisco Public Library at 557-4388. Project Read is an adult literacy program that provides volunteer one-to-one -one tutoring for adult learners. Project Read's support of tutors and students includes tutor orientation and training, continuing education workshops for tutors and students, reading diagnostics for students, family programs, and referrals to classroom instruction at community college centers and to other agencies in the community. There are many ways you can help adults achieve their personal reading goals. Call Project Read to find out how. Learn to read or be a reading tutor. Phone 557-4388. And now, here are more of the new extended branch hours. The Ocean View Branch Library, located at 111 Broad Street, is closed on Mondays. Open Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Thursdays, 1 to 6 p.m. Fridays, 1 to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 12 noon to 6 p.m. And Sundays, closed. Serving the Outer Sunset, the Ortega Branch Library at 3223 Ortega Street is open on Mondays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesdays 1 to 9 p.m., Thursdays 1 to 9 p.m., Fridays 1 to 6 p.m., and Saturdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Ortega Branch is closed on Sundays. New hours for the oldest branch library in San Francisco, the Park Branch at 1833 Page Street, are as follows. Mondays closed, Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Wednesdays 12 noon to 8 p.m., Thursdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and closed on Sundays. Construction of the new main library in Civic Center has progressed steadily during the past 12 months. After a joyful topping out ceremony, the age-old builder's tradition of placing a tree atop a building after the last beam of the framework has been installed, the business of erecting the exterior walls was begun.
The precast exterior panels of light gray granite were fabricated to match the color of the surrounding Civic Center buildings. The architecture of the new main library integrates a classic Beaux-Arts style compatible with the public heart of the Civic Center with a more contemporary configuration facing Market Street. When finished, the new main library will complete the Civic Center blueprint conceptualized by Daniel Burnham in 1912. The new main construction schedule was put off by approximately 30 days due to the severe weather conditions and rain of this past winter. The new main opening day ceremony is now scheduled for mid-April of next year. Meanwhile, work continues on the interior of the 375,000 square foot building which features a dramatic 50 foot diameter five-story atrium topped by a large circular skylight that connects the library's various sections and distributes natural light throughout the building. Currently, workers are busy installing the metal stud framing and sheetrock of the interior spaces, and installation of the elevators and electrical conduit and fixtures continues. The various special collection rooms are beginning to take shape, and interior millwork is expected to begin this month. When the new main library is completed, a total of 77 subcontracting firms will have participated in the construction of the building, which is being constructed by the general contracting firm of Huber Hunt and Nichols Incorporated. The main library will open to the public in less than a year, and plans are already being made for a special grand opening celebration for what is truly going to be a civic treasure and a state-of-the-art library. And now here are more of the new extended branch hours. Located along the El Terraval Muni Metro line at 1200 Terraval, the Parkside Branch Library is open Mondays 12 noon to 6 p.m., Tuesdays 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Wednesdays 1 to 9 p.m., Thursdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays 12 noon to 6 p.m., and closed on Sundays. Located atop Potrero Hill at 1616 20th Street, the Potrero Branch Library hours are Mondays closed, Tuesday 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Wednesday 1 to 9 p.m., Thursday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Friday, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturday, 12 noon to 6 p.m., and Sunday, closed. The Presidio Branch Library, located at 3150 Sacramento Street, now returns to its full branch status and is closed on Mondays. Open Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Wednesday, 1 to 9 p.m., Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Friday, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and closed on Sunday. The beautiful Richmond Branch Library, located at 351 9th Avenue, is open Mondays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursdays, 1 to 9 p.m., Fridays, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., 
and Sundays 1 to 5. The children's room hours are the same except for Tuesdays 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Wednesdays 1 to 8 p.m., and Thursdays 1 to 6 p.m. The recently renovated Sunset Branch Library, located at 1305 18th Avenue, is open Mondays 1 to 9 p.m., Tuesdays and Wednesdays 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sundays 1 to 5 p.m. The children's room hours are the same except for Mondays 1 to 6 p.m., Tuesdays 10 to 8 p.m., and Wednesdays 1 to 8 p.m. This month's film program at the Noe Valley Sally Brun Memorial Branch Library features comedy classics from Hollywood's early years. The Comedy Fest will feature four single reel classics starring Buster Keaton and Sybil Seeley, Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy, and W.C. Fields. Have you ever had this tooth pulled before? No. This won't hurt you much. I'm coming to give her gas. You're not gonna pull me out of 
around the floor. Relax. Would you like a drink? What is it? Water. No, thanks. This 16 millimeter film program of three silent and one talky comedy classics will begin at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, May 17th at the Noe Valley Sally Brum Memorial Branch Library, located at 451 Jersey Street. The Word for Word Performance Group presents Harriet Doors, Doctor of the Moon, from the book Stones for Ibarra at the Bernal Branch Library on May 31st at 7.30 p.m. Also at the Bernal Branch, a Spanish conversation group for all levels meets to discuss films, books, and grammar on the first and third Wednesday of the month at 7 p.m. And now, here are more of the new extended Branch Library hours. The Visitation Valley Branch Library at 45 Leland Avenue returns to its full branch library status and is closed on Mondays, open Tuesdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesdays 12 noon to 7 p.m., Thursdays 1 to 7 p.m., Fridays 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays 12 noon to 6 p.m., and closed on Sundays. Located just outside the West Portal Muni Tunnel at 190 Lenox Way, the West Portal Branch Library is open Mondays, 1 to 9 p.m., Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays, 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Sundays, 1 to 5 p.m. Serving the Western Edition and Fillmore neighborhoods, the Western Edition Branch Library at 1550 Scott Street is open Mondays from 1 to 9 p.m., Tuesdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesdays 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursdays and Fridays 1 to 6 p.m., Saturdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and closed on Sundays. The main library located at Larkin and McAllister Streets in the Civic Center is open Mondays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Fridays, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sundays from 12 noon to 5 p.m. The Main Library San Francisco History Room hours are Tuesday and Wednesdays from 12 noon to 6 p.m., Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. City guides are volunteers who enjoy the city and its stories. Let them share their knowledge and enthusiasm with you on free walking tours of various San Francisco locations. Call 557-4266 for more information on free public tours of San Francisco. You too can be a friend, a friend of the San Francisco Public Library. Join us. For more information, phone the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library at 557-4257. We'd like to hear what you think of At the Public Library. Please send your comments to San Francisco Public Library, Media Production Services, Civic Center, San Francisco, California, 94102. You've been watching At the Public Library here on cable channel 54, City Watch. At the Public Library features news and information about the San Francisco Public Library system. And for a printed copy of some of the information in this program, pick up a copy of At the Public Library at your branch or at the main library. Tune in next time for more at the Public Library, and thanks for watching.